Hi all. After a long time, uh, today we have started. Uh, today in this video we will discuss about the Corcus framework, uh, which is the Java framework, which is backed by the Red Hat. And what is the Corcus uh, introduction about Corcus? Getting started, uh, we will check uh, the popular VS Code setup. So how Visual Studio Code will support the Corcus development? We need to install two extensions as usual because VS Code is the editor and to support the Caucus and other Java related development we have to install the two extensions like Java extensions back and Caucus. Another is that after that we will look into that the hello world example of the Caucus. I uh, will look the Maven application hello world Caucus Maven application and how to run it. So this is about the today's video. Let's jump and uh, open the browser. We will look Corcus IO. Corcus.io is the official website. If you look the introduction, Corcus is the supersonic subatomic Java. So why a supersonic and subatomic? It's it's faster. It needs a little memory footprint. That's not the case for the other other framework. If we compare this with the Spring Boot, and it's developed from the scratch to support the containerized first and Kubernetes native Java stack. And if you look, it's for the open JDK hotspot, Kral VM, crafted from the best breed of a Java library and different different standards. So current version of the Corcus is 2.7.2. If you go to the website and get started with the Corcus, it will uh, give you the uh, getting started point where we can jump and start. Three more uh, core features about the Corcus is that, as I have mentioned, it's a container first. It support both the imperative and the reactive and uh, uh, it's considering uh, unified feature from the both the best of the both and it has a very good community back as I have mentioned uh, it's backed by the Red Hat community and it's support native developer enjoys the development it support everything if you wanted to uh, develop an application and deploy into the cloud first this is the best platform and they have provided s different different things about memory first and how much uh, memory it is taking and what are the testimonials they have provided with caucus with an AT image caucus with the crawl VM. This is about the caucus. If we have to start with the caucus similarly if you are familiar with the um, uh, start.spring.io caucus also provided code.caucus.io so you can mention here like what is the group let's say Here you can mention your artifact ID. Let's first caucus hello world. And what kind of a build tool you want to do is Maven Gradle with Kotlin DSL or some other option if we have. Also, you can select the different different dependencies like JaxRS, REST Easy, REST Example, GRPC, Hibernate, Database, different different. You can search here like let's say. MySQL. So you will get that reactive MySQL client JDBC MySQL. And if you have the if you are working on the DPC, you know, different different connector they have run. Similarly, if you are using Kafka, so it will provide the same thing, Kafka client library and others. So you can select those. Let's say uh, I just wanted to use the uh, Hello World example as a so I'll just select the REST as a and you can generate the project. So it will download the zip file. This is the one way you can download and import either you can choose the Maven or Gradle which is a familiar build tool for you or else if you are more more familiar with the VS Code style or the editor style then you have to go to the open the VS Code you have to set up the VS Code then you have to go to the extensions here you can install the Java extension pack as I already installed the Java extension pack uh, to save the time, I'll, I'll just extension pack for Java. So it contains, it, it is a pack of a six different Java extensions. So you have to install those. And one more extension is of course the Corcus one. So if you search Corcus tools for the Visual Studio Code, you have to install. This is the official plugin. Make sure that it's from the Red Hat Corcus tools for the Visual Studio Code. And it has provided the description as well because it's support both Quarkus and micro profile development with the VS Studio code so it has provided and how to generate the code and project once you will install this packs then you will open the extensions back 
so how you will generate the project using this one so you have to use the shortcut shift command or control if you are using the windows and p so it will open this palette so you can use or you can just search corcus generate corcus project so i already use so it is showing me recently used okay if i select this one again it will activating the extension pack for the corcus okay so just let me check did i have deactivated i don't think so i haven't deactivated let me search if you wanted to open the corcus welcome page it, it will just show if you select the corcus to generate the project then it will pop up the next pick up the build tool i have selected the maven here you can mention the uh, your artifact id or group id here i have used the previously group id so it is showing me the group id let me see demo then you can select the project artifact id corcus hello world or you can say anything then you have to select the project version just select it as it is getting resources that's the resource name we wanted to use greeting resource because it's a hello world so we'll use the uh, same as it is and here you can select the different different extensions pack like which extension you wanted to use you wanted to use the database connectivity jaxrc so we can use that one and it will also show you the last use so i have used the rest is so i'll select this one you can search as well then it will ask you to download the project so it will download the zip file so i have just generated project here once that project is generated we can directly open it so i'll say open in a current window okay so i'll use as it is okay so if you look here it has showed some structure here okay mvn mnw it has a source or contains docker because it's a country as first it has provided the different different docker file for jm legacy jar native and native micro okay then java java contains only one class we'll explain this in the next uh, tutorial for now just understand this is the controller one and uh, from, from the uh, spring developer perspective you can understand this is one kind of a controller it has a mapping with the hello world and it is producing some hello world message and if you go it has application dot properties and some other stuff okay so for now you can ignore or you can just relate or map to the spring project if you are from the spring spring background okay that's, that's that's fine one okay uh, let me open the terminal so what we will do we'll just run the project we'll understand what exactly mean by what is it or if you are familiar with the jax rs thing it is the same thing you have to use this get mapping path produce and the media type it's the same thing it is plain java class okay to run this one we'll use maven wrapper to avoid the compile package and we have i think we have corpus so it will start your application okay so once it will start we will just look what are the things it is showing just just for understand let's assume we don't know anything about the java just blindly follow this so it will scan the project i have been w it just the wrapper if you have the different version of a maven so it won't create any problem let's say i have the installed maven version is 3.5 and this project is supporting 3.7 so it will, won't create the problem it is just the wrapper it will use and this this is the file mnw once it will it will install all the things it will start installing all the dependencies which is required as usually because it's a maven project if you meanwhile we will just open the pom.xml which is similar to for all other maven projects if you look compiler plugin is 3.8.1 for maven it is Corcus platform, Corcus version, 
Surefire plugin. It is using Quarkus versions, Quarkus.io, Rust Easy, ARC, JUnit 5 to test Rust Assure to test the Rust RESTful services and few other like plugin, Quarkus Maven plugin just for the build, I release the code, generate the code test Maven compile the plugin, parameters and few other plugins the way we have uh, plugins right similar way native integration test verify and few other stuff so we'll verify these things and then we'll look into other stuff how it is working if you wanted to check the maven w command it is nothing it, it, it just contains the maven related stuff it is the shell script or the command file for the windows support and it is providing the structure for everything if you look it is generating redmi.md it, it is a somehow similar with this standard spring.io we just need to identify okay it has started it has the same banner like a spring instead of spring we have the corcus here and address and bind if you jump to the browser and we have to just set localhost it's red zero slash hello world if you look here we are able to see rest easy message whatever we have put here in our so this is for now we will check how how it will be easily we can use and somehow we can understand more about the caucus so this is it for now we will clean code uh, we have found uh, we have just discussed about the caucus caucus io how to generate the project using code.star.io how to set up the a base code editor to support the um, Corcus tutorials or do the development or set up the development environment oh, notice that you need a JDK version 11 to run the tutorial okay so if you look uh, I have installed JDK 11 so you need 11 plus JDK to support the current uh, development version of a Corcus if you have to do the development you can use the older version then you have to use the Quarkus older version as well so that's it for now thank you